What is a TOD and should you add this to your investment account? I'll explain what it is and more coming up. My name is Mike Bernard. I'm the host of The Wise Money Show. I'm also one of the certified financial planners right here at Corhorn Financial Group. Make sure you hit that subscribe button, turn on notifications, and smash that thumbs up button. Okay, guys, I, I got that bad news. It was, it was a Monday morning. Um, I got to the office. I get here early and pop up the computer, open the email, and I got that email from the child, daughter of a client who I also, and we also serve, and and it was pretty simple. The title of the message had mom's name and it was a one sentence email saying, wanna let you know mom passed away this morning. And uh, as a certified financial planner doing comprehensive financial planning, we, we sadly get these messages um, a handful of times throughout the year. And I've often told people, uh, as a certified financial planner, as you're working through the intimate details of someone's financial life, when that event happens, when someone passes away, we're not the first call, but we're typically first day. I mean, you know, this when when someone passes, there's just so much that is impacted in your finances that it's not going to be your first thought. There's waves of emotion and all of that, but eventually your mind will wander to, well, God, gosh, there's some either life insurance or some accounts we need to clean up, or I'm not really sure how this works financially or blah, blah, blah. There's going to be some sort of financial concern or awareness and your brain will go there. And that's the time when you just hope that you've been working with the CFP that's going to help guide you through, that's already planned ahead for this and can help navigate and guide you through it. And you can just easily and quickly share the news and yep, okay, uh, so sorry for your loss. I'm here for you, thinking of you, praying for you. And when you're ready, will be able to sit down and kind of, uh, you know, take the next steps. You don't want at that moment to think, oh, did we, should we have, did I get everything set up correctly? And, and how's this going to go? And, and a lot of question marks. Of course, there's question marks, but the planning, hopefully, for that event should all be done. And, and so that's where I go to the TOD. Mom uh, had just two accounts. And she was 87 years old, I believe, 87, maybe, maybe about to turn 88. And we've been working with her for, uh, gosh, I've been involved serving her for maybe 20 years. And so even though it was sad and, um, and she had had some health issues over the past couple of years, we had already sort of thought through this and had been thinking through this for the past decade, not talking about it all the time, whatever, but just had run, had, had done the fire drill so that we knew things were set up correctly and they were. Um, she had two accounts, her IRA, double checked. She's already a widow and, and I grieved uh, the passing of her husband, had a, just a great relationship with him. But we had already, again, same thing. We had already been prepared when he passed, even though his was just as sudden, right? Um, but IRA had the right beneficiaries, but I was grateful. I was grateful, I double checked it like I had every time that we met, but I was grateful that we had something called a TOD on her other, her non IRA investment. She had just an individual brokerage account, if you will, um, from the sale of her house a while ago when she moved into a, a smaller uh, living community. And we had those proceeds in a non IRA account, just in an individual account in her name. But we added something called a TOD to that account so that at this very moment when she passed, everything would, would transfer smoothly. What is a TOD? Stands for transfer on death. And it's a, it's just, it's, there's no cost in doing it. It's not really added complexity. It's just an additional form to add beneficiaries to your investment account, to your brokerage investment account. You don't need this for an IRA or a Roth IRA because you've already got, as part of that process, you've got beneficiaries designated on there and make sure, and maybe this is a, your, your prompt to do so, make sure you double check those and that those are accurate. But for an individual investment account, the, not one that's a 401k IRA at some sort of tax shelter, just for an individual account or a joint account, adding the TOD, adding that transfer on death allows you to list, here's the beneficiaries. Here's who I would want the money to go to if something happened to me. And you can list just like you can with your IRA, 401k, those sorts of things. You can list a primary and you can list a contingent, okay? You also have the choice of saying, this is you know, per K 
capita or per stirpes, content for another video, okay? But that TOD allows you to list those beneficiaries, name those beneficiaries on an individual or a joint account. What are the benefits in doing so? Number one, very efficient and smooth transfer of those assets to your heirs or to those folks that you designate when you pass away. There's not much that you know work that needs to be done. It doesn't need to go through a long process dealing with lawyers and all that stuff. Ultimately, we need uh, you, your investment company would need a death certificate as well as some form signed, and that's it. It's very efficient to transfer those dollars to the next generation. And when you're grieving emotionally, to have a long, drawn-out process that takes lots of time, potentially money, and other individuals involved, that's just not ideal. It's, it's, not, it's, not, a great, it's not a great experience. So adding that transfer on death makes it a very smooth and efficient transfer of those assets. That's the first benefit. The second benefit is it doesn't have to go through the will. It doesn't have to go through probate. So it avoids probate cost. It avoids that time, yes, but typically that probate process um, is, is there's a cost to it from the attorneys and, and so on. So having a transfer on death, these dollars, that account avoids probate and avoids that cost. And that's that third benefit. There's, there's no cost associated with it, like I mentioned. So oftentimes when new people are coming in to, to meet with a certified financial planner at Corhorn Financial Group, and we're doing our initial review, our needs analysis meeting, and then that our, our kind of case class and financial snapshot, those are some, some jargon, but that's our process here, where we're looking through. If there's an individual account or a joint account, we are checking to see if there's a transfer on death because there's no reason that there shouldn't be. There's no reason other than negligence or, or not negligence, but I just, you missed it, okay? Though that should be added to those accounts. If you're opening up a Robinhood account or a quick, you know, Fidelity account online, Vanguard account, it's very typical that you're gonna omit and you're gonna forget this. Your certified financial planner should be reviewing all of your accounts and making, like pointing out these issues. Hey, you need to add a transfer on death here so that if something happens to you, the, uh, the account, you know, these dollars easily transfer uh, the way that you wish and go to the people that you intend them to go to. That's free. There's no cost in, in, in doing that. There's no cost in adding this transfer on death. So when you do that, that scenario, playing that out, if something happened to me, how would my assets pass to the people that I want them to pass to? Your 401k, your IRAs, your life insurance, those all have beneficiaries attached to them. You just gotta make sure that you've got the right beneficiaries named. And ho hopefully you can confidently say that. And if not, go through, use this as a prompt to go through and double check those. But any investment accounts that don't have those, that doesn't have a TOD, make sure that you add one so that you've got beneficiaries assigned to those. If you're thinking through that, thinking, well, I don't have an individual investment account, but you know what, we've got that emergency fund, or we've got a lot of money sitting there at the bank. Can I add a TOD to that? Well, you add a POD, payable on death, for bank accounts. It does the exact same thing. It assigns a beneficiary, primary and contingent, so that those dollars also pass efficiently, uh, avoid probate, and it's free. And that's how you name beneficiaries to bank account. Why is it called a POD instead of a TOD? I have no idea. I, I have no idea. It's the essentially the same thing. They even sound the same, POD versus TOD. But your bank account, so my bank accounts where I have my emergency fund, saving up for the, the, you know, the next car, all that sort of stuff, I have PODs on those where I've assigned beneficiaries so it avoids probate. It's easy to transfer and there's no cost involved. So work with your certified financial planner as part of your six areas of financial planning. Estate planning is one of them where your CFP is going to take a look and make sure that all of your assets are structured to transition the right way and the most efficient way to accomplish your goals and, and, and your intentions for passing those assets on, hoping that you don't pass away for a long, 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 long time. But should something happen in the meantime or when it does, that your wishes are carried out very efficiently and, and as uh, you know, with as little cumbersome or, or friction as possible. So work with your certified financial planner on that. If you don't have a CFP on your team, you can contact one on my team, find us online, corhorn.com. That's corhorn with K, wisemoneyshow.com. You can find us there as well, or give us a call, 574-247-5898. All right, there you have it. Go out and take your next wise step in your financial life.